Okay, welcome back. This is the second video in the logarithms tutorial, and the question is, what's the definition of a logarithm? Probably the best way to understand the definition of a logarithm and how it's computed is to take a look at a couple of examples here. First, uh, 10 raised to the second power is 10 times itself, two times, uh, or 100. What this means is that the base 10 logarithm of 100 is 2 because 10 raised to the second power is 100. 10 raised to the third power is 1,000, which is 10 times itself three times. And what this means is that the base 10 logarithm of 1,000 is 3 because 10 raised to the third power is 1,000. Now 10 raised to the fourth power is 10,000, which is 10 times itself four times, or 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And the base 10 logarithm of 10,000 is 4, because 10 to the fourth power is 10,000. Your textbooks probably define a logarithm as the inverse of an exponent, uh, which it is, but I don't find that very insightful. Um, and it can also be thought of as the power to which a number is raised in order to compute the number in question. So 10 to the fourth is 10,000, and the power to which 10 must be raised is 4 in order to get 1,000, so the base 10 logarithm of 10,000 uh, is 4. These three examples use base 10 logarithms, and if it's helpful to you, jot these three exponents and logarithmic expressions down and keep them uh, as reference notes, and that will help remind you uh, the process by which a logarithm is computed. When working with logarithms, it's essential to know what base number system uh, you're working with. And in these examples, base 10 is being used, but any number base can be used. If you work in computer science, you will commonly see logarithms in base 2, base e, base 10, and base 16. And this tutorial website makes use of base 10 and base e logarithms exclusively. So that's the definition of a logarithm and three examples showing the exponent and corresponding logarithmic expression. From here, take a look at the tutorial instructions and the video uh, it's very brief about E, Euler's constant, for a reminder of what E is and how it's computed. And then the next couple of tutorials to look at cover um, uh, laws of logarithms and properties of logarithms. So as always, thanks for watching. If you have questions, please let me know.